Gina, go home. Go home. You can eat it and can not eat it. Mir? Mir? You name Mir? Jose Mong Sai. My name is Mong Sai. Ah, Mong Sai. Salamat ha. Ang bait-bait mo naman. Naalala ko tuloy yung... Tunso kong kapatid. Bungsay. Pani ato. Dego waso. Puyo dalala pa ito bungsay. Apa do chukum man chala. Arachi. I live a life of fantasy. I don't know who I am. With the script in front of me, I'm a completely different man. Hi, my name is Nestor Avan Andrada. I am 25 years old. Yes, and I'm I'm from Calamba City, your Calabeño, and I am an actor. I. I guess I started to love acting when I was still young. I can still remember that one moment when I was invited to watch show. I think I was five or seven years old that time. I at first I didn't know what's gonna happen on the show until the lights came out and the performers started entering the stage. That moment. I, when they started moving, when they started uh, you know, speaking their lines and singing their songs, I was deeply, I was deeply fascinated. I, I cannot explain the feeling. It seems, it seems so magical. It's really magical. I couldn't explain uh, if I was if I was happy, if I was sad, if I was scared. No. I, I couldn't explain my feeling that time. But I know I am being attracted with what I am seeing. That's, that's how I felt. I even cried, I don't know, I cried, I laughed. Um, I felt butterflies in my stomach, everything. All the different kinds of emotions. Don't ask me about reality. I don't, I don't quite, quite understand. understand. Half, Half the time, time I'm, I'm not sure if I'm a woman or a man. For me, acting is more than just a profession. It, for me, it's 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 a it's a life devotion. It's it's a career. It's it's a personal decision that a person can make. Okay. Because not everyone, I believe that not everyone can act. You know, it's not, I mean, acting, acting is not for everyone. Uh, and it is very special because it transforms lives. It can, it can transform lives. My first uh, acting role when I was in college, the play was called uh, Sa Sinapupunan ng Laot and my first role was a jellyfish. No, 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 not a jellyfish. A seaweed. Yeah, I was a dancing seaweed. I had no lines. I was just singing. I had no speaking lines. I was just dancing and moving on the stage. Part of an ensemble. And it was fun. It's very memorable. It's very memorable. I, I take, take a, a character, character all, all apart, apart, put them back, back my way, way. and then, then as, as if I think I know, I come out and play. For example, I will play a role of, of a priest. I am not a priest. I am a typical, uh, I am a typical worker. I am no priest. When I am asked to play the role of a priest, I have to think that I am a priest. Then when I'm 
me, uh, you don't pretend. Pretending is different. It's fake. And you will know if it's fake or not. So if, if a musician, if a, if a guitarist has his guitar as his instrument or as his tool, for an actor, it's the body. If for, for example, a violinist has as his violin as his instrument of producing sound, of creating music, for the actor, it's the body, or it's the voice. And we have the emotions, of course. We have the emotions. Emotions are very important. In three, two, one. Action! All cams are on. Flashing everywhere. Gives you a spotlight. Now, you're pretending again. Those tears are not real. Like the words from the script. Oh, look at him. Ay, ano? Hindi mo ba naririnig? Alam ko naririnig mo eh, ayaw mo lang sabihin. Sir, what's your lifestyle as an actor? Um, well, when I was a student, I, I really had to manage my time uh, properly. So, I, I, I make sure that every rehearsal, uh, dapat nandun ako, I'm always present. So, kapag ka meron akong prior commitment, ina-adjust ko na agad yung, yung oras ko. Uh, so, usually, pagkatapos ng klase, uh, I make sure na may direction na ako sa rehearsal. At uh, bawal balik, of course. Kailangan lagi maalas sa rehearsal. Um, kailangan prepared ka when you go to the rehearsal. Hindi pwede yung uh, dun mo palang i-memorize yung mga lines mo, dun mo palang aaralin yung blockings mo. No. Kailangan pagdating mo sa rehearsal area, uh, planahado na lahat. Naaral mo na lahat. Sir, no? how do you do that? Hindi ba nagko-conflict yung study and yung rehearsals, yung performance? Um, well, uh, may chance na magko-conflict talaga siya. Pero ang challenge sa iyo bilang artista, kailangan alam mo kung paano i-manage yung oras mo. Alam mo kung paano mo uh, bibigyan ng importansya yung mga bagay. You learn, you should learn how to prioritize things. That's very important. Sir, so parang sobrang busy niyo, school, rehearsal, acting. May time pa ba kayo mag-unwind? Um of course, Bilang isang artista, kailangan, you should always find time for yourself. Uh, what I do, well, mahilig ako mag-travel. So, nag-schedule ako ng mga travel with friends. Tapos, actually, contento na ako dun sa mga small talk. So, um, and sometimes, I invite friends to come over sa place ko, sa house. And then, we exchange, you know, uh, conversation. Uh, mahilig din ako magbasa at nakaka-relax sa akin yung pagbabasa. So, kapag ka may libreng oras ako, uh, may make sure na suspend ko siya ng ng ng, uh, ng, uh, ng wisely yan, gano'n. Yung mga binabasa niyong libro, sir, na um, anong mga genre? Is it novel, ganyan? Uh, mahilig ako magbasa ng novels and um, literary pieces, no? So, yung mga epics yan, mahilig ako magbasa ng mga yan, mga history. Uh, historical books. Kasi, when you're an actor, kailangan marami ka alam sa history. Why? Kasi, um, when you're studying a character, you should have a very you know, good background when it comes to history. Kilala mo kung mga personality na ganito, kilala mo kung 
uh, alam mo tong uh, background ng story na to so mas maaaral mo nang maayos yung character may mga um, historical person na ba kayo na portray um yeah before i played the role of Jose Rizal wow. in, in a play in high school i also played the role of um, i played the role of actually Ferdinand Marcos yeah. sa isang uh, uh, stage play din ano pa ba historical figure yeah the rest are non fiction You make, you make no doll no scenes, scenes. making make a movie a blockbuster hit. hit. Your, Your pretty young face, face as sweet as, as an admiration, admiration from your fans. fans. Uh, I went to Seoul for the auditions. I think there were 25 of us, 25 Asian guys. I was the only Filipino at that time. So I was given a scene. My my task is to translate the the lines, translate the lines into my mother language, and that is Filipino. Yeah, um, I I tried acting out the role. Then after the audition, I I went home without any hopes of of getting the role because I I thought that. There were so many of us, and I was thinking that there, there may, there might be some people who are better than than me. After like like two or three days, I got a call from from the producers of the film. Now they were inviting me to to go to Seoul, to come back to Seoul, and speak with the director of the film. That's the time that I learned about the real uh, nature of the film. It's really a big film and I'm gonna be playing a big role in the film. Mong Sai's role is he is the carrier of the virus. He will be the one spreading the virus all over Korea. He will be the one spreading the, the killer virus that will kill the Koreans. So he asked me, are you willing to play that role? Um, at first, I couldn't decide. Because if I, if I said that I'm not willing, they might get another actor to play the role. So I, I, I told the director, let me think about it. Then after giving me some time, I decided to, to, to tell the director that I am not willing to play the role. Now because uh, sensitive yung role and I don't want to portray my country to be in that way. So the director said, ah, okay, we will revise the script for you. So instead of being instead of being the virus carrier, they made me the antibody carrier. So I brought the cure the deadly virus. I am a born actor. In my heart is my script. And this world is my stage to play. So to those aspiring actors out there, what I can say is hold on to your dreams. Don't let it go. Fight for your dreams and you'll definitely get it. Think positive. Uh, don't, don't, don't hesitate. Because when you start to hesitate, you, you will never get the confidence. You have to be confident that you can do it. Don't be afraid. Try, try, try other things. Right? If you have a goal, if you have a dream, you have to work hard for it. Work hard and achieve your dream. I am a born actor. My script is so simple. But I want to take time writing each scene, sharing the message from suspense to wow, to build my audience with bricks of how, to engrave my name in time. And when it ticks, it points at me. 
And when it kicks, I feel at ease. The role of Mong Sai is not too difficult. Uh, he was a smuggled worker. He was young, maybe late twenties. So it's nothing to you know to prepare much about. I because I know a lot of OFWs working in Korea, and I I tried living with them. So somehow I understand how hard their life is in a foreign country, working in a foreign country, having a foreign boss, having a foreign employer, working for more than you know, more than eight hours, nine hours, just to earn, just to get that hard-earned money to be sent to their families in the Philippines. Somehow, I was able to, you know, to empathize with their uh, horrible experiences, with their lone, uh, with their, uh, it's hard to be alone when you are in a foreign country. You will feel that sadness, that deep sadness. Just thinking about the idea that you're far from your loved ones, right? 